we've now encrypted our data. We've chosen an authentication method so we can make sure that people get onto the network who are allowed and prevent those who aren't. There may be some other things that we can configure in our wireless access point to help with security. Let's look at one of these. This is MAC filtering. MAC stands for Media Access Control. It's the hardware address, the MAC address of your wireless card that's in your devices. And one of the things you can do is list out in your wireless access point a list of all of the MAC level addresses who are allowed to communicate to your wireless network. So this keeps all your neighbors out. This keeps other people who don't know your, your MAC addresses from being able to even communicate to your wireless access points. This obviously creates a lot of administration. You have to get a list of everybody's MAC address and put it into the wireless access point. If you have visitors that are coming in, you may have to add those MAC addresses also to the wireless access point. And in reality, as long as somebody has a protocol analyzer that can sniff what's happening over a wireless network, it becomes really easy to find out what MAC addresses might be out there. And it's really easy to spoof MAC addresses. So we can simply wait until you leave for the day and then use your MAC address to get back on the network. So obviously, that's not the only security feature you should apply to your access points and your wireless routers because it's so easy to do this. We call that security through obscurity. And in reality, th that is not security at all. There's no real security if all you're doing is trying to hide something that somebody later on could very, very easily find out that information. It's only going to protect you from the people who don't want to get into your network to begin with. So don't think and use Mac layer filtering as its only security method. Use it to layer on along with all of the other things that you're doing. If you've ever noticed when you searched for a wireless access point, you were able to find the name of the access point. It pops it up on the screen. What access point would you like to connect to? Maybe Linksys or Default or Netgear or a name that's very specific that someone has programmed into their wireless access point. Well, being able to identify wireless access points so easily and connect to them also brings up some security concerns. Should we really be broadcasting the fact that we have a wireless access point here? So one of the things you can do is, of course, change the SSID, the service set identifier, to something that's not quite so obvious. Make sure it doesn't use a default name like Linksys, and maybe not even give it a name that's referring back to your organization. Give it something very generic. You can also disable the broadcasting completely. This is a configuration setting from my access point. Here's a checkbox, enable SSID broadcast or not. I can turn it on or off. But yet again, it's very easy with protocol analyzers to be able to sniff the air and see what access points are out there. As soon as somebody connects, I'm going to, I'm going to see the SSID. You can't hide all of the SSID information. So again, applying this is really security through obscurity, which of course is nothing to do with security. So don't, again, use this as your only method of trying to add extra security to your network. Layer it on with all of the other things that you're doing.